In this video, we are going to learn how to run a Spark ETL pipeline over Google Dataproc. StreamSets Transformer is an execution engine that allows us to create a data processing pipeline that executes on a Spark cluster. With the simple use of drag and drop UI, we can create a pipeline for performing ETL and stream processing. Google Cloud Dataproc is a managed service for running Apache Hadoop and Spark jobs. It can be used for big data processing and machine learning. Now we are going to create a transformer pipeline that will run over Google Cloud Dataproc. Let's get started with our demo. First, we are going to log into our data ops platform and create a sample transformer pipeline. Here we are reading from Google Cloud Storage and writing the output back to Google Cloud Storage. Meanwhile, we are performing some simple transformations like join, aggregation, and repartition. To download this pipeline, check the link given below in the description. We need to execute this pipeline over a dataproc cluster. Notice that the program created the dataproc cluster. Now it is up and running. There is also an option to provision this cluster via transformer, but that feature will be explored in a later video. For now we will use this pre-existing cluster. To try this pipeline yourself use the demo files that were previously uploaded to the Google Cloud Storage. We will now move over to the pipeline and review some key configurations. Select Dataproc as the cluster manager type. For now, the default configuration is used, so we can pass the Spark configuration. Next, let's move over to the Dataproc tab. Here we need to provide the key details for the dataproc cluster. Indicate the cluster name, project ID, region, credentials, and staging directory. Now we are ready to start the pipeline. The key thing to remember here is that this pipeline will be executed over an actual dataproc cluster and not over a transformer instance. Right now, we can see that the transformer is uploading all the essential files to the dataproc cluster and launching the Spark job over the dataproc cluster. We will now go to the dataproc cluster and verify that this Spark job is submitted and running. Now you should see that the new job is launched and it's in the running status. Moving back to the Control Hub UI, we can see that the program has processed the data. Next, let's check the Google Cloud Storage where the program created the output directory. We can see that the program created a new directory with an output file. Notice that the pipeline is still running. Now it is time to see whether the pipeline is complete. To learn that, check the complete output. Finally, we can verify the successful output by viewing this JSON file. In this video, we learned how to run a Spark ETL pipeline over a Dataproc Spark cluster with a StreamSets transformer. You can try running this pipeline too. To do so, please find the link in the description. Now it's your turn to try.